guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be my June 2015 favorites. I've already filmed this video once and I just can't find the footage anywhere, so I'm refilming it. And I have quite a few things to go over, so we're just gonna go ahead and get started. Um, I'm gonna start with the makeup, and the very first thing that I've been loving and using all month of June is this Maybelline Fit Me Foundation, and it's in the shade 225. I'm typically not this dark, but I do have quite the tan going on. But the reason I love this foundation so much is because it gives me just enough coverage, um, but it's not super heavy, because in the summertime, I don't wanna wear super heavy makeup, because it just feels like it's melting right off of my face. And I don't feel like that with this foundation. So yes, I've been, this has just been my go-to foundation all month long. The next item is an eyeshadow. And um, last or last winter for the Tarte Holiday Collection, they came out with the Away We Go palette. And there is a particular shade, and it's called Stargazing on the Scene right here. And I've just been using that all over my lid. I've been loving this particular shade because it's super easy. It makes you look like you've done your makeup. You know, you spent like a lot of time on your makeup, but I just pop it on the lid and it just makes me look wide awake and ready to go. So that has been my go-to shade all month long. The next item that I have, it's a brow palette, but I have been using this particular shade for the crease and it is the prestige one. I know that looks a little gross right there, um, but I just use that to get rid of all the product, like the excess product. But right here is the shade that I'm talking about. Ooh. Right there is the shade that I'm talking about. And yeah, it's the perfect crease shade for me. It really just kind of helps me blend out my shadows and it was just a recent discovery. So I'm super happy I found that and I plan on continuing to use it as a crease shade in the future. The next item that I have, I really wasn't sure about it when I first got it, but I have definitely learned to love it, and that is the Tarte uh, Lights Camera Lashes, and this is just the sample size. I do not have a full size, but I ran out of my, um, what is it called, the Urban Decay Perversion, and I had a sample of this, and I started using it, and I really like it, so I'm going to have to pick up a full size of this one the next time I go to the beauty supply store. Now, getting into brows, typically, I don't want to, like, like I said before, I don't want to mess with my makeup too much during the summertime. And this Sony Kashuk brow, um, it's like a tinted brow gel. It gives a, like perfect color for my eyebrows. Like I filled them in and yeah, it's just been working for me all month long. I'm so happy that I rediscovered this item. It's kind of been sitting in my collection for a while. So yeah, I'm really excited that I have this and I've been loving it all month. Okay, the next item that I have is a blush and I actually use this blush in a few videos back that I did and this is the NYX Baked Blush in Wanderlust and the reason I really love these blushes is because as you can see that sheen it looks like a blush and a highlighter in one and you know if I can skip steps and have a product that has like an all-in-one I love that and this let me swatch it on the back of my hand it is such a beautiful summer color I don't know if you can see that yeah just look at that Look at that glow. <laughs> so yeah, this has been my go-to color all month. I'm even wearing it on my cheeks right now. I've just been loving it. So maybe I'll have to get a, get a backup of this. Okay, and the last item for makeup, it's a lip pencil that I've been using and I just fill in my lips. Sometimes I'll apply a gloss, but sometimes I'll go without a gloss and just use this. And this is the Coastal Scents Lip Pencil in Natural. And it's just a nice natural brown color. <laughs> And that is what it looks like. So yeah, I really like the brown colors and I really like using the lip pencils lately as like a lipstick because they seem to stay on a little bit longer for me. So yeah, I've been absolutely loving that. So getting into skin and body care, the very first item that I have in this category, and this is a like recently discovered item. I used to be a part of that Ipsy membership. I ended up canceling my membership with them. However, I did pull this out and it's the Pure Lease or Pure Lisse. It's the Hydra Balance Moisturizer and it's just the sample size. And I really like this stuff. It, moisturiz it moisturizes my skin without making it like too greasy feeling or anything like that. And it absorbs really fast. So I've been using this morning and night and my skin seems to look amazing. Okay, and kind of staying on the same page of like skincare, um, this is my second bottle of this and this is the Biore Free Your Pores Acne Clearing Scrub. I really like this stuff. Um, 
you know this stuff is really good because it doesn't feel like it strips my skin or anything like that it still feels you know balanced and I have not had any acne breakouts so thank you Biore amazing it's just I just truly love it and it has like these little beads in there um, that do exfoliate but they're not too harsh either okay and if you guys have seen my past videos you guys know that usually I just stick with the Olay ribbons body wash because that's the only one that moisturizes my skin the way that I need it to be however I did find the Dove purely pampering coconut milk with jasmine petals has been another body wash that I love and actually this one smells a little bit better than the um, Olay ribbons one does to me okay, and you know summertime when it gets really hot sometimes we can sweat <laughs> um, but I've been using this ever since high school and it just continuously works for me it just does the job it is called certain dry and that's what it looks like I'm sure you guys have all seen it you just use this a couple days in a row and you will not sweat I promise just get it it is kind of expensive I want to see it like Walmart it's like five or six dollars but it's definitely worth it. You just apply it at night and you don't have to worry about anything in the morning. Okay, and the last body item that I have, it's called the Tree Hut Shea Body Butter in Coconut Lime. This has been an amazing scent and actually I just use this mostly for my legs. Um, and I actually need to get another one, but it smells so good. It's super moisturizing. I typically like body butters a lot more than I do like the lotions just because I feel lotions a either feel really greasy on my skin or they just don't absorb properly but with usually with body butters I never have that problem and this has just been a staple scent in my collection usually at night after work or a long day I like to just relax and what helps me relax best has been these um, soothing essential oils and this is in eucalyptus and this is in lavender what I like to do with these is I will just put a couple little drops when I'm taking a shower like on the side of my shower and the steam helps kind of like release that um, aroma and it is amazing I absolutely love it I just purchased mine from Walmart I think I got it like right next to the pharmacy but I never thought about doing it and I'm like oh yeah I'm just gonna try that and yes I am so excited I'm gonna be doing this all year long okay so a few videos back I'm sure you guys have seen my stamping polish haul the Mundo de Uñas one and I love these stamping polishes they blow Conad out of the water these stamp so well they stamp perfect over light and dark polishes I'm just in love for looking for a stamping polish I highly recommend them they do take a long time to get here I think when I ordered it it took like three maybe four weeks for me to get my order but it was definitely worth it so if you guys have trouble stamping maybe it's the polish that you're using this next item might not mean anything to you guys if you're not like a hairstylist but I recently changed my sister's hair from green all the way to a dark brown and I use the Olaplex system to do it and I love this I am so happy that I just kind of went out and just did it and used it because this truly is a game changer for me so I don't know that you guys are really going to care about it maybe your stylist uses it on you already and you could see a difference but if not maybe ask them because this stuff works so yeah that is all for my like beauty favorites my next favorite that I have, I've had her less than a week, but I got my husband a little puppy. She is seriously the cutest thing ever. Um, she's nine months old and yeah, she is just a lover. So I'm gonna try to go find her and show you guys, you know, show you to her cause she is so cute. So hold on. <laughs> Hi, sweet girl. Hi, sweet girl. So there she is. She's my little cutie. Sorry about the extension cord. That's for my pool filter. <laughs> but there she is. What a good girl. What a good girl. So she is my ultimate favorite. Oh. Alrighty guys, so thanks so much for watching my June 2015 favorites. I really hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with all your friends and family. If you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. And also if you want to follow me on other forms of social media, I'll leave it all linked down below. Alright, I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye!